Hey folks, I'm Donnie the Fuzzy Face Fisherman. Thanks for joining me here in Red Dirt Country. I'm gonna show you what Mystery Tackle Box has sent us for the month of October here at Red Dirt Fishing. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and break into this uh, Bass Elite Mystery Tackle Box uh, sent to us for the month of October. Mystery Tackle Box has got a, a handful of different boxes to pick from. I, I think the, the lowest model one they have is a $20 box. Um, you know, I, I usually spend $20 in tackle every month. I'm not saying that's what I pay for this one, but uh, I, I am in no means endorsed by Mystery Tackle Box. I've got no, no, no links for you to click on or anything like that. Uh, I just like uh, sharing what I get in my Mystery Tackle Box. If you subscribe, uh, I would be curious to see what you get in yours and how yours might differ from mine. You know, they, they say it's based on zip code. So uh, if, if you subscribe, drop me a comment. Let me, know, uh, let me know how yours might differ from what I got in mine. Let me show you. All right, so uh, first thing I'm pulling out of the box here. Uh, if you saw my baits of October, uh, I pulled out a segmented bait. Well, that's exactly what Mystery Tackle Box thinks I ought to be fishing with as well. They got a bull shed. This segmented bait here, uh, it's not mechanical. It looks, it looks, I'm actually gonna crack this one open here for you. Uh, oh yeah, that's soft. The weedless bull shad, fast sinking. I'm gonna show you packaging again. Let's, let's see the label. This guy, uh, he's got an interesting texture to him. I'm, I'm stoked for this. Man, this is cool. The, the hidden hook down inside. I don't know if you can see the hidden hook. Uh, got the weighted bottom there. I'm, I'm down. So this is like a, a, a pre-rigged weighted, uh, I can't call it a paddle tail. Uh, it's, a, it's a segmented, I mean, this, is, this one's cool. This one's kind of unique. I don't have anything like it, exactly like it in the tackle box. Um, smells like silicone. Doesn't really have any kind of aroma to it. Um, but that is the first one I got for the month of October. Uh, they're calling it the bull shad, the baby bull shad, weedless. Four and a half inch, fast sinking. That's a cool one. All right, next thing I got in the box, ooh, uh, Weston baits. I'm a fan of Weston. I'm, I, I have good luck on those guys. Uh, this is a floating bait. Oh, check this out. Okay, so uh, Guggen has their, uh, uh, forgive me, I forget what it's called. It's got the, the, uh, the prop on the top. Um, these guys look like they're capitalizing on something similar. This sucker's got props on the tail as well. Um, I'm gonna show this to you out the package as well, just because, man, they're getting, they're getting crazy with some of these patterns. Look at that, that's, that's crazy. And then we've got these paddles, these propellers on the tail. Um, yeah, I might have to get this sucker in the water. This is interesting, it's top water bait, uh, twin turbo, spot on twin turbo. All right, well, that's what she looks like. More to follow on that one. I gotta, I gotta see how this guy operates. Uh, but I'm, I'm a, I'm a fan, big fan of Weston baits. Their, their top water baits have done me well in the past. Man, look at the, the paint on that. Man, this is just crazy. It's a crazy looking bait. I'm, I'm, I'm taking a little extra time here. 11 16 ounce uh, floating, 19 grams. Man, that's, that's crazy looking. All right, I'm sorry, I'm sidetracked here. Um, next thing I'm pulling out uh, is gonna be Shinobi Shad. All right, Jinko Fishing. Look at this guy. That's another one that's got some crazy color. Apparently, Mr. Taco Box thinks we ought to be fishing with color this month. Uh, look at the color on that. That's nuts. I don't know if you can get a good angle on it. Shinobi Shad. Uh, what is this? Super Shark Hooks, Premium Paint, uh, yada, yada, yada. Uh, spy Bait. Oh yeah, look at there, it's got the props. Man, those props blend in. Let me show you again, see if maybe you can see the props. Got one on the nose, got one on the tail. Huh, that's a small spy bait. Right on, that's gonna be a good collection to the tackle box as well. Uh, they call it Grimace is the, is the color. Huh. One more time, look at that guy. That's nuts. Got the sparkle in there. And it's a month for pretty baits. All right, what else we got? Uh, okay, all right, so here we go. Spinner bait, uh, catch company spinner bait. Uh, got the double willow blade there, uh, must add hooks. 
uh, 3 8 ounce. Uh, you can never have too many uh, spinner baits. The, the double willow blade here, uh, I've got a lot of them, but this is, uh, I don't have the chartreuse color. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hap, uh, happily add that one to the tackle box as well. Got a short wire on it and that's, that's, that's okay. Uh, it's gonna keep it a compact, compact bait. But, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bet that there's probably a trailer in here. That's probably what this is. Watermelon Red, Z-Man, check these out. I bet you these would go well on that uh, that spinner bait. Man, these are some chunky chunky dudes. Uh, it's got a fun paddle on the tail here, split tail. Watermelon, watermelon red. Now oh, it's got the red flakes. Looks like the silicone's kind of a translucent green, but it's a nice addition. Uh, nice chunky addition to the tackle box. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, oh, look at these fancy. Yep. <laughs> it's a month for pretty baits. Look at these pretty hooks. Pretty baits. Pretty hooks. All right. Prism 5X, extra wide gap. Uh, titanium Pro Series. High carbon steel, it says. Which is it? Titanium or high carbon steel? Okay, well. Uh, I will say this, I have used these hooks in the past. Uh, I have, they have not failed me. Um, I, I, I think I successfully uh, caught two fish on one of these guys. Uh, never had any issues, it's, I, don't know, I wouldn't call it uh, thoroughly used them. Um, but I have used them and they haven't failed me, so I, can't, I don't have any complaints. Uh, they do work, uh, so I, again, nice addition to the tackle box. I always like adding terminal tackle. Uh, the next thing I'm pulling out here, Guggen baits making an appearance as they usually do. The blazing worm. This dude is a big worm. Uh, it's an eight pack. Uh, let's see here if it's gonna tell me the size of these worms. <clears throat> Six inch worm. It's a, uh, look at this guy. Big old hook tail worm. They call it the blazing worm with slaunch sauce. Uh, green pumpkin purple is the color. Uh, it's a big old straight worm with the, all kinds of rib. And it's got this, uh, this this hook tail with a paddle on it. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, it's got a fun little paddle on the tail, but uh, I'm I, I like adding plastics to the tackle box as well. So uh, I, I, I'm not gonna lie, I, I'm not a big fan of the big rigid packages like what these come in. Um, they seem to take up a lot of extra space, uh, but they, they function. They 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 do their job. Uh, they space the bait out, make it easy to see how many you got left in the package. So uh, again, nice addition to the tackle box. More plastics. I cannot see what these are. This is the packaging. M War Monkey with a Rod. Let's see here. Two. Real nice and greasy. Oh. Okay. Uh. Well. I'll show you. Got a little selection in here. Um. Man, these dudes look like. Okay, they're supposed, okay, they got the head of a fish on them, sort of. Uh, you kind of see that the shape on it. Got some eyes and some gills action, uh, but this crazy tail. Very limp noodle. Uh, this would look good, look good on a drop shot, I have no doubt. Um, that's what this screams to me is drop shot. It doesn't have a whole lot of information on it. That's what the packaging looks like. Uh, you really can't even see inside the packaging as to what, what's inside, but uh, there's no rigging advice or no nothing. Of course, there's a 25% discount. Nah, I don't care. But the, the uh, M War sent me these guys in my Mr. Tackle box. I'm, I'm interested to try those. Uh, I do, this is, I'm drop shutting this, this fall for sure. Uh, so I'm going to give these a go, uh, add those to the tackle box. And that come to the end of it. Uh, paperwork as always, right? So, uh, I, I love the stickers. I'm a sticker, I'm a sticker nerd. Uh, sticker for the month. Uh, ironically enough, it is <laughs> another segmented bait. Um, the, the what's in it card, uh, I tell you what, just they give you a, a, basically an inventory of what's in your box. And then, uh, the lunchtime reading, uh, Dibble's fishing tips and tricks. I, I enjoy going through here and, and seeing the, the, the good reading that they have. There's usually, uh, good little, tips and tricks 
Battle of the Jerk Baits. Sometimes he's got some fun stories in there for you to read. Uh, but guys, that's that's going to be everything that came in my mystery tackle box uh, for the month of October. Again, please, if you're a subscriber, I'd like to know how your box differs from mine. Uh, if it's if it's something as simple as colors, or if the tackle's totally swapped out in general. Um, I know the panfish boxes are a little different, uh, but if you're a bass subscriber specifically, uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you what you've got in your box, uh, guys. And until next time. Uh, we're going to do this again next month. I, I enjoy doing these videos. Uh, Till next time, tight lines to you.